uh, go to the random number generator. Okay, nine. Hopefully that's a little more interesting. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Grading students. Okay, so there's this grading students problem that uh, says Hackerland University has this grading policy where every student receives a grade in this range 0 to 100. Any grade less than 40 is failing. Sam is a prof at this university and likes to round the students' grades according to this rule. If the difference between the grade and the next multiple of 5 is less than 3, then you round it up to the next multiple of 5. And if it's less than 38, no rounding occurs, which makes sense because uh, less than 40 is a failing grade. Um, okay, so, so let's say it was like 37 or something, then you wouldn't be rounding to 40 anyway, so they wouldn't have passed anyway, so there's no point in rounding. So that's why I said it makes sense to uh, cap it off here at 38. Uh, for example, grade 84 rounds to 85, but grade 29 stays the same because it's less than 40. Or, in other words, um, even if it rounded, it would have been less than 40. Um, given the initial value of grade in each of Sam's end students, write code to automate the rounding process. So grading students is the function we have to complete. It returns an integer array consisting of rounded grades. Um, so it has this grades parameter. And uh, the input format looks like this. It uh, specifies the first line is the number of students. Each uh, of the next few lines is the grades. So there'll be between one to 60 students inclusive, and uh, the grades can be from zero to 100 inclusive. And uh, here's one example they give us. So 73, I guess, rolls around to 75. That makes sense. 67 should not round because it's not, it, it's uh, exactly three away from the next multiple, and which is not the same as being less than three away from the next multiple of five. 38, uh, it rounds to 40. That's the edge case. And uh, 33 shouldn't round, which makes sense because it's a failing grade. OK, so here's an explanation. We kind of already know that. So here we go. Um, we have this integer array grades. And we're going to uh, return um, grades now we're going to modify grades the grades array they pass to us as an argument um, so what will we do well first we need to make sure um, we're, well we're gonna iterate over each grade so for int i index is zero uh, and we'll iterate while um, i is less than the length of grades um, and uh, so, okay, so we're going through these grades in this uh, grades array. Uh, and while going through them, we're going to modify the grade if need be. So first of all, we're going to check that uh, the grades are at least 38. Otherwise, we don't modify that grade. If grades at this particular index is greater or equal than 35, uh, sorry, 38. In this case, we're going to make some modifications. 
Um, otherwise, don't modify. So, um, <clears throat> okay, so now what kind of modifications do we make? Well, it depends on the value of that grade. Uh, for example, there could be a grade that's already a multiple of five and we don't change it. Or there could be a grade that's um, more, more than two away, so three or more away uh, than the next multiple of five and we don't change it. Or in the final case, it might be within a distance of three, so less than a distance of three away from the next multiple of five in which case we just round it up. And notice they gave us this constraint that the grade is at most 100. So we don't have to really worry about accidentally rounding to something like 105 or something because they won't give us a grade of like 104 or 103 or something. So, okay, so that's out of the way. Um, so let's write some code to modify if, if need be. So how are we going to know whether it's uh, within a distance of three away from the next multiple of five? Well, we will, uh, we can use the modular uh, operation, which will give us the remainder. And we're going to check to see if the remainder is more than three. Because if the remainder is, sorry, we're going to check if the remainder is at least three. So three, four, three or four is the remainder um, using modular uh, uh, operation with uh, the per, uh, with the value five um, on the grade. So uh, what will that give us? It'll give us the remainder if you divide by five. Um, what kind of remainder that gives us will uh, specify the value from the previous multiple of five and we're looking for the next multiple of five so that's why we're instead of looking at the distance within three we're going to look at three or more the distance which is three or more okay so that is um, an if statement if grades at i mod 5 um, is greater or equal than 3, in which case, um, so as an example, or actually, I'll do the example after. Uh, here, let's do an example. So say we have 67. Um, then you uh, you mod five, and that will give us uh, two, right? So that's a remainder of two that we get from this operation, and uh, it is not greater or equal than three, so you don't um, do anything. But uh, if it was sixty-eight, then it should according to the rules specified above, it should be rounded to 70. So let's see if this is going to um, go into this if statement, It'll see whether or not it'll satisfy this condition. So this is 3, and indeed it is greater or equal than 3. So that'll satisfy. And, and notice the most we can get is 4. So... Uh, we don't have to check, oh, is it going to be 6 or something or 5 or something. Most of this modular uh, operation will get us is 5. Uh, sorry, um, because it's a modular uh, operation with 5, uh, with the value of 5, um, the most we'll get as the remainder is 4. So uh, this is okay. We don't have to... Uh, check much else. Um, okay, so um, that seems all right so far. So now, okay, let's say uh, this condition is met and uh, indeed we do need to change 
um, the grade. Then we do grades at I. Um, um, and uh, we do plus equals because we're adding and uh, at this point we simply add whatever modular um, whatever the modular remainder was um, minus so five minus the modular remainder. Um, so for example, if we had 68, the modular remainder is three. If we do, f we add five minus three, which is two, which gets us to 70. So um, uh, we do grades at I mod five. So this is going to be five minus grades at I mod five, right? And uh, this is precisely what we add to that grade. Um, and this should be okay, unless we made some kind of silly mistake. Okay, so here it seems like uh, we have the correct output. So let's try submitting and it's gonna run some test cases here. So, okay, so um, there we go. Looks like all these test cases passed.